And dude's sober. I forgot to look at the Vintar though when I was doing the upgrade so we can give it a little more reliability. Yeah, a little more flatness, a little less recoil. And then a five times optical scope up from its current, I don't know, four? Not really sure. But, um, it's like one of those things where it's like down the road, it's like this tier and onward is when stuff starts to get a little bit interesting. The first stuff is mostly just like the standard basic whatever. And then this, the third tier is like the really fancy stuff. Of course you still have the basics, but they're pretty huge upgrades. Um, like I'm not sure if, does it stack? Like if they get flatness, like does this flatness override this one? I don't think so, because this is like a return spring. This is something else. So I'd be able to get flatness and flatness and accuracy and then more accuracy up here or more flatness, just flatten the shit out of it, you know? I don't know. It's interesting. Uh, for the time being, it's not really anything too wild or fancy or crazy, so I'm just going to kind of ignore it. And uh, cool. uh, I'll, I'll keep searching my inventory. Equipment sorted. I feel a little bit heavier than normal, but uh, well, I suppose that's a bit normal. Um, 31 kilograms out of 50. Like we're still okay. I just uh, I'm not not really sure. Um, I bought a little more buckshot because I am running a little bit low, and I bought a little more of this ammo type because I'm also running a little bit low on that. Got a lot of like little miscellaneous ammo types for a bunch of pistols. A lot of these handguns I'm probably never going to use, but uh, oh well. I'll grab a second tourist delight, and then I guess I'll take up the dude's offer on like heading to Yantar, and we'll see what that's all about. It's only a thousand. Cause I'm curious. Hello, I'm listening. That's not the right guy. Are you a pilot? Yeah, you're a pilot. Okay, so how much to get to Yanov with only a thousand? That's fine. Let's go. Let's check it out. From Zatan to Yanov. An emission occurred recently. Well, while we were doing that, apparently. <laughs> Like is this is this a completely different map or just a different part of the same map? Here we are. Yanov Station is a haven of relative safety in the area around Jupiter. This is where we go our separate ways. But if you need me, look for me by the bar. Okay. First time uh, here. Hi. <laughs> I'm relatively hey, new here myself. Hi. The name's Nitro. I work with equipment. I can repair anything you need, but getting some good tools is a problem around here. If you see anything, bring it straight to me. And if you need any technical help, come see me and I'll be glad to do what I can for you. Okay, Nitro. Well, it. Ah, cut. Quit it. Well, it. Stop it. Who, who are you? Vavka Punk. Okay. And who are you? Igor Tarantula. Okay. Um. So what yeah, do it's I just. Do? If I go, I'll lose money. If I don't go, I'll end up dead. Oh, what, what's yours? Is you okay? Okay, don't shoot. I paid the debt. Sorry, I thought you were someone else. What about this debt? Well, I had an old suit that was starting to wear out, so okay. I figured. I'll tell you how to kill controllers. The other day, I chanced upon a buttload of artifacts and decided to stash them while still en route, because my back couldn't hack it anymore. On the way back, I got to my stash, and there it was, a controller, chilling right on top of it. Now, I thought to myself, controller or no controller, I gotta get my shit back. Then I realized that if I shield myself with something, it's manipulation bullshit won't work on me. So, I picked up a metal grate that I found lying around and started sneaking up on the beast. By the time it woke up to what was going on, I'd pumped half a clip into the cocksucker's head. Just as it started trying to control me, I gave it a final bash with my rifle butt, and that was that. Dude found a suit. Uh, got it for basically free. Okay, and? Uh, well, got it for free, but had to pay up later. Okay, and? Sold my old suit, got 
got all my cash and brought it to him. Jack was like, well done, Ivano, but what about the interest? And I thought, yeah, he's right. I need to get the interest to him. I put together some more cash and took it to him. When I got there, he said, while you're out, more interest built up, Vano. Seems the interest grows so fast I can't catch up. I had to pawn the new suit and my weapons too. All right. I want to pay him the money I've earned. I want to pay him the money I've earned. There's nothing more important than Vano's reputation, but I'm scared. Uh, could you go see Jack instead of me to pay my debt? Uh, fine, maybe. I don't know, 5,000 bucks. The only thing is, when you see him, make sure to whip out a powerful gun or something. Show them you're not one to mess with, and they'll give you some respect. I'll work it out. I'll kill them all. Um, so, you. Uh, Tim, I killed the controller. Oh, God. Yeah, okay, see you next time. That's what he just said, basically. Would you quit fucking staring at me, Mr. Tarantula? What? What? What are you up to? Going to the Southern Tunnel, just be safe in case of an admission. I see. See you next time. Fucking creep. Aloha! Aloha. Uh, his name's Hawaii, I get it? His name's Hawaii, oh god. My drinks ain't nothing special, but this is a welcoming and special place. Uh, I have a PDF of duty supplies officer. Um. Okay, not in a million years. I know where to buy everything he sells. A lot cheaper. There's nothing else there that could interest me either. Oh. Well, okay then. Oh yeah, he's got some stuff to sell. Nothing too wild. Nothing too wild, but okay. See you next time. See you. And we've got. I'm listening, man. Your pilot, right? No, your uncle Yar. Good day to you, stalker. I'm Uncle Yar. I guess you're tired from the road. I have a bite to eat since you're here. You chose a good time to show up too. I need some help. At my age, there are things I can't do on my own. Back in the day, though, and he gave me a tourist breakfast can. Tourist breakfast can. What's the job? <laughs> Easy as pie. The two of us make our way over to Kopachi, and not far from here. I'll, uh, the rest you'll see for yourself when we get there. Uh. Fine. Why not? Cool. We'll be back before you can say bloodsucker. Bloodsucker. I don't know. I'm ready for action. Sure. Why not? The main thing is, don't be surprised by anything, follow me quietly if you keep it hush-hush and don't move, things will go nice and easy. Okay, but there's like a bunch of stuff around. Let me eat one of those. Uh, some zombies. A bunch Looks of zombies. Like a quiet village. Unless we disturb the local residents. What did you do that for? He didn't touch you, did he? Damn! Damn your guns loud. Oops. Dude's taking hits. Early. Ow. What a bit of radiation. I see you. Come on, what are you waiting for? You'll miss the best part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see if I was right. You're being shot at. Uh, duty?
Okay, they're hostile. Got it. Uh, I don't have anything really long range. This is all I've got. Shit. Yeah, I can't crouch all the way because I'll, uh, I can't see over this thing. So, like, I guess he was hoping to ambush with the zombies or something? I'm not sure. Guy didn't seem very happy that I killed the zombies, but, you know, the zombies turned to very aggressive and we're walking into a massive swarm of them, so I just, you know. Okay. Fuck you over there. Just too short. There we go. Nice headshot. Ah. Okay. So, that's that. I can see you're bursting with questions, and I can understand that. Let's have a little talk, shall we? Okay. Thanks for helping an old man out. Take this. If you have any questions, ask away. I'll answer best I can. Stash coordinates 6,000 and the mission complete. So what happened here? Some lads came here to kill me. You see, I was hiding in the bushes minding my own business when a mercenary squad showed up. Their leader was yapping away on his PDA about a central lab in Pripya, an urgent order this and that. So I stepped on a stupid branch and alerted them to the fact that I was there. So I grabbed my rifle and made a run for it, but I always had the feeling that they'd come for me. This is the price we pay for eavesdropping nowadays. Well, I couldn't freedom help. What's the point of getting... What's the point of getting the mercs angry with freedom? We had one war, and that was enough. This is a personal matter. No point in involving them, you know? Okay. If you're going to Yanov, maybe we could go together. Having someone to talk to is always nice. Rather go on my own? Sorry, Uncle Yart, but there's stuff to explore here and things. Good luck. Be safe. How far of a run is it to Yanar? We're not really sure. Oh, like right there, I think. Is this Yanar? Oh, yeah. Or Yanov, rather. Yeah. Uh, uh, he should be okay, right? I hope so. Because there's, there's a lot of stuff to loot here. Bunch of zombies. Duty dudes. Oh, yes. Nothing too wild on the bodies. There's a decent bit of radiation around here, but I've got enough anti-red that it's not actually affecting me very much. Um, about the most wild stuff there was was mostly just ammo because I have like UDB compacts, which apparently says the same ammo as this guy. But they also had just some guns that were in okay shape. This one I accidentally picked up and I'm not using that ammo, so we'll drop that. Um, a couple guns in decent shape. Uh, a lot of them had the IL-86, which uses the same ammo as my current gun. So I was able to do that. A couple guns to sell, a couple detectors from the zombies, a little bit of drugs here and there. But nothing too special or crazy. I did hear the dude shoot out there somewhere. Um, his, his gun's quite loud. He, he makes it known when he's shooting something. <laughs> um, so I, I guess I'll head that way and check on him just to see. But there's not really anything to loot here at this place. It's all all looted up or whatever already. So, okay. Let's head it over and see if he needs some help, wherever he may be. Wow, I think I saw him way out there. Yeah, there he is. Looks like he's getting back okay. No sign of what he shot so far, but I've barely really moved. I ate a bit of bread to bring my weight back down because I was only just a little bit over. Um, I had to catch up to this guy. Yeah, there's like dogs and pigs and shit over there that he was probably shooting. Well, spill it. He made it back. Nothing wild though with uh, talk to that. I thought maybe he'd be like, oh, well, thanks again for everything. And there's a freedom dude in cool armor. 
You wanna like pay a ton extra for a gun? Or no? Okay. What about you, since you're friendly with me? Oh, you don't wanna trade. Alright, never mind. Come on in, man. Relax. Hi. Loki, good to see you, man. I've heard some good things about you and Freedom. What can I do for you? Uh, Duty Trader Morgan? 4,000 out of pure curiosity. I'll think about it. I don't really need the money. Tell me about Freedom. It's a long story. What do you want to know? Yeah, forget about it. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> They're the opposite of Duty, though. They believe in just having, like... Just like everybody, like freedom, you know, everybody's, everybody's got their own deal. They all do their own thing. There's no like real strict, hard, hard, fast rules. Wonder again. You Lit don't back waste and chill. any time, do you? Hello, you looking for medical supplies or just here to chat? Um, duty PDA? Try talking to Owl. Well, Owl's, Owl's pretty far away from here, but he's got, he's got a bit of medical supplies. Okay, cool. So there's that. I'm still looking for my stash. Take care and stay healthy. The compass is only moderately helpful with that. Hey, stalker. Is it? Oh, down below maybe. Time oh, there's money. duty. Hello, stalker. Hello, Duty. Yeah, so Duty and Freedom, their they little war is well, well over. Sup? Sup, Nitro. Oh, bite. What's your story? Uh, you interested in a Duty Trader PDA? Trader and Duty, no kidding. Give me the- give the PDA to Shulga and he'll deal with it. Not a word of freedom, you get me? They'll use one asshole to sabotage the reputation of a whole faction. Okay. Um, if you need tools, like, get them. That would be awesome. At the moment, it's like working in the Stone Age. The only difference is that the soldering iron has been replaced with the shaman staff. If I had tools, I could do some top upgrades, and you better believe that there'd be coin in it for you, too. I'll look for them. Okay, you mentioned materials. Right, finding materials to work... Finding materials to use for working with radio equipment is damn near impossible around here. I've used everything I can find, and there's nobody supplying any materials here because you can make more cash selling guns. I heard there could be something left at the cement factory, though. Why would there be radio materials at the cement factory? Cement factory is just a name. It stopped making cement long before the Chernobyl disaster. They disassembled what they could and started using the building to make electrical appliances. Okay. And what are they for? Well, I do work with shooters and equipment. I mean, a man's gotta do what a man's gotta do to eat, but my passion is radio equipment. You know that feeling when you put something together and it works? I remember I once built a jammer. It was real useful. I turned it on when, it on when the announcements by 100 rads kept waking me up. Alright. And if you find anything like colophonium or capacitors, bring them to me. Hell, I'd even be grateful for some textilite. I can't promise you lots of cash, but you'll get a discount, that's for sure. Alright, shut. So we'll go for that. And dude don't need fucking vodka. But that probably means he's also not, uh, you can't also bring the price down by getting him drunk. Unlike the first guy. <laughs> uh, but it, I'm under the impression that they do different upgrades sometimes for like the third fancy tier stuff, maybe? Or they can only work on certain guns, something like that. Uh, I don't know. Okay, well, uh... Okay. Still looking for a stash. Probably downstairs. Looks right. Hello. How goes the hunt? Trapper. I'm Trapper. There's no need to introduce yourself. Me and Ganton killed the Chimera at Zanton. Thank you for that. The fewer of those beasts around, the better it is for us all. Now if you could track down the other one. The other one. 2,000 for it, alright. So what do you do? I'm Trapper, and until recently I hunted mutants that were a danger to stalkers. Nowadays I take orders and give them to the younger hunters. I train them and teach them the hunting tactics. I have wiped out a bloodsucker lair at Zaton. Like, I just keep, like, trying to boast this guy, it sounds like. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Knowing what I know about bloodsuckers, I would think a couple of them are out hunting. But now that they've got nowhere... Now that they've... 
But now that they've not got anywhere to come back to, they won't be a danger to stalkers anymore. Um, get any other work for me? Of course, a group of swamp bloodsuckers have been spotted in Fen, behind the cement factory. Uh-oh. They seem to be keeping their swamp for now, but local stalkers want to make sure they stay there forever, if you know what I mean. The price of the home group is 3000 I'll do it. I'm heading that way anyway, I guess. Okay. Cool. Oh, yeah. Sleep. Sure, sure. And my personal box. Ah, uh, it's a different personal box. Fuck. Well, let's store some crud. Because if dude's going to give me better prices for finding his equipment, then... Uh, well, no, I can't sell to him. So never mind. We may as well just sell all this. I'll store away the sausage, though, and, like, a vodka, a couple bandages, some first aid kit. Anti-rads. The drugs I'm just going to keep, because these are so lightweight. Come on over, bro! And to you, we trade... Sell the IL-86, sell the AKM-74 to you, the Thora-12, and the PMM. Okay, done. See you next time. So, my gun is a little... He talks funny. Gun's a little roughed up, but not too terrible. I always got the shotgun also. Oh, and it... There's another TRS-301 here also. Take the silencer off and unload it. I didn't realize I picked this up. It doesn't have the upgrades that I've got at all, so it's not really like a cool backup weapon. And you don't want this thing, huh? Yeah, it's too damaged. Alright, I'll uh... I'll throw it on a body. somewhere when I find one. So, PDA, what do we got around us here? We're heading up northeast. That's a cement factory. There's the swamp. And there's a Plavni anomaly nearby as well. And a substation. So I guess we'll head up northeast to the substation and check that out. It's like right... Uh, yeah, over here. It's really nearby. And we'll rock with the shotgun for a little bit. Try not to use my rifle until I need to. Because it gets roughed up pretty fast. I wonder if increasing the reliability causes that to drain slower. It must, right? Or does it just change the threshold at which it starts jamming and stuff? So maybe it's like, it can get lower before you need to worry. So this is the uh, substation. It's like a... I was thinking like an electrical substation, but no, it's like for the train station thing. Just a bit small. And just generally here. Why do you exist? <sighs> I mean, I'm okay with it. It's just it got a point of interest mark, so I'm just a little... I don't think it'd protect me during a blowout. Uh, maybe, though. I don't know. Huh. All right, well... Moving on, then. There's an anomaly somewhere. Like, just up ahead. And then the bloodsuckers are just past it. Cement factory off to the right a little bit. We'll do that after. Let's rock real quiet. Turn the flashlight off. And there's the anomaly. Looks like there's something there. Am I okay to go for that? Guess I can try. And let's take out the Magnum, actually, instead. That could be alright. Okay, it's... It's Toxin. How close are you gonna come to me here? Not close enough, I feel. Okay. So let's swap out battery for Toxin. Which was... Yeah, this guy. Uh, 
I just kind of assumed it was just like a nasty radiated pool, but yeah, there's also there's also anomalies down here. Ew. That was scary. I thought I heard a bloodsucker just then, too. <laughs> ah, shit. Alright. So we got another meat chunk? Yeah. Nice. I'll take it. And I guess I'll keep it on? Well, no. Let's go with the wound healing. Mama's beats, because I'm about to fight some fucking bloodsuckers. And, and yeah. Didn't I have something that was better for wound healing? Yeah. yeah well, health restoration. It's not quite the same, is it? Yeah. Ah, yeah, well, uh, that's okay. All right, bloodsuckers. And they're like just ahead? Yeah. Doesn't tell me how many there are, but I do hear them. Flash red a moment, and I get some rain. Great. Fantastic. I'll totally be able to find them now. That's well, pretty quiet right now, actually. Ah, oh, double kill. Fucking wrecked. The anomaly's pretty loud. I can't see them at all. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Every time. Oh, they're so spoopy. Oh my god. <sighs> medical supplies. It's just like a regular supply of medical stuff in there. It's cool. It just pops up at weird times. Oh fuck, they scare me so much, bloodsuckers in this. I feel like they're more invisible than they were in Chernobyl, right? Like that's not that can't just be me. <laughs> <laughs> 